G'day, so just wanted to make a quick update on what's happening around here. I've pulled out this flood and drain hydroponic system to set up for strawberries with the same reservoir under there. I've got a, a second pump running this aeroponics tube that I've just made. Uh, it's just got pool noodles in here holding the plants in place. Uh, so this is aeroponics that's been constantly misted inside here. They've only been planted up just a week ago, but you can see the uh, mist is at action, so all the roots are constantly getting fed with a new film of nutrient. Um, very oxygenated, so very quick growth. And um, yeah, be excited to try a system like this. I have made one before as a propagation box, but um, never actually had a proper system of aeroponics before, so that'll be exciting. Anyhow, we'll see how it goes. I mean, the biggest problems I'm going to have at the moment is struggling with um, temperature fluctuations at night time. The days are hot, the nights are cold. Off the same air pump that I've got everything else running here, so at the moment there's only two pumps in there and one air pump. Uh, I've also got an air stone running to here. So this is sort of a deep water culture system. And they're already taking off nicely, so I've just only planted up this last one couple of days ago the others have been in there for about a week um, looking good nice and green basically pest free and I meant the big advantage with the uh, strawberries is I did have them in the garden bed last year the kids are out there all the time helping themselves to it and um, lots of redbacks around also lots of snails and things like that so it'll be a lot safer for the kids the idea is here that eventually the strawberry leaves will grow up, upwards, and then the strawberries will hang downwards. So that's a 150mm PVC pipe. And um, down here I've got a 100 litre reservoir. It does have to be a fair size because of the flood and drain table. It'll nearly flood it with 50 litres up the top. So obviously when that floods for 10 minutes, about five times a day, um, this water level will drop to half and I've got to obviously have the water level above the water heater, things like that, so I don't have uh, other things being damaged. But anyhow, I'll update as it goes on. Have a good one.